also to why we should push critical thinking on people. I, I don't know. I don't know what you think out of this idea, but I, I think philosophy can be a good for that. When we are really young, uh, we can see things yeah. more critically and see things as they are. Okay, this is a written book by somebody. They believe so. It is in a, in a extreme way, or we can interpret it that way. And while we are reading it, we can label that as extreme, uh, or interpret it in that way, which m most people, also people, uh, do it. Uh, so I, I think critical thinking helps you on that. Like I know that these people are writing right these uh, like these uh, because they are more or a lot in depth into these, or because they are want to sell me these. You no, know, because if you mm. talk in this way. Um, you will sell more, sell more than just hey. Uh, you, if you are always putting, let's like, say, disclaimers that this cannot happen, that this, this key is not so easy, you know, and, and that's why your work is is interesting because if you push these knowledge and these, no, uh, no, I'm not sure. Advert, not adver, advert. If if you start advertising, like uh, it can be useful, but. Take care if you are going to the extremes, you know, but where we know if you are on the extreme or if we are on the right path, like, let's say, I think that that's really mm -hmm. difficult. I think we need a lot of psychotherapy or a lot of uh, <laughs> self knowledge uh, about ourselves to, uh, to, to, to get, to get into that, you know, uh, to really know mm -hmm. where, where we, where we stand for and when we are playing outside of the zone or in the, in the, in the, uh, how we say in English in the limbo, like in the in the between, you know, in the between uh, sure. heaven and the uh, heaven and, uh, yeah. and hell. So well, like, look, I mean, th there's a researcher that um, I only just came across recently. I can't remember her name off, but she she looks at emotional agility, mm -hmm. so the idea of being able to dance between um, different emotions, you know, positive and negative. It's really great concept. Um, and she has done a lot of work sort of, well, some of her interviews sort of focus on the fact that it's like the antidote to manifestation beliefs because um, manifestation beliefs tend to be quite fairly strict when you really believe them and mm. that you, you all end up, um, and she sort of talks about you know, this idea of toxic positivity, which I'm interested in studying, and that's the idea of sort of applying positivity in places where perhaps it's not so great. Um, like, you know, like if you're always applying positivity to cover up, you know, negative feelings or you demonize all of your negative thoughts um, and only sort of want to focus on positive thinking, that that's a very inflexible way of, of and in fact, is giving those thoughts that you don't like more power than you need to give them. Mm -hmm. um, they're just they're sort of just there and you, you you could just let them go, but it's getting into that OCD space of like all your thoughts are very, very powerful. Um, whereas this emotional and uh, this uh th this agility to to be able to handle a range of different emotions, I think could be a way to know whether or not you're you're on in that space in between, like rather than being very extreme, I think one way of knowing whether you may be holding something a bit too tightly is to think about your reaction to something. It could be in any situation or any context, but um, to look at your reaction when someone says something that you don't believe um, and if it makes you very, very, or, you know, criticises your your <laughs> your beliefs, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It makes you feel... Yeah, it makes you uncomfortable. <laughs> uncomfortable. You make oh, how yeah. the hell you 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 said that. <laughs> I, I, I'm That's a sign that our, we're tight, really tightly holding on to those beliefs. And of course, sometimes we want to. You know, maybe that's something like, oh, you know, um, violence against is against women is bad, and you yes. want to put a yeah. line down there. Yeah, Fine, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. But then other things like about how we attain success in life or how we live a good life. To me, those issues you don't want to you don't want to be too extreme in in thinking you have the the answer because um and because uh, you might miss out on on some really important kind of lessons as we move through life. So, it, yeah. yeah, absolutely. But but uh, if yeah, I really like this concept of 